You know what my mom used to say? What's that? If you can't say something nice. <laughs> That's how I felt this whole entire time. Don't, say, say, say don't, something. Don't, don't know. say anything at all. <laughs> you can't fix it. You can't, you can't, you yeah. can't yeah. fix it. Yeah. That's can't. step number one. There's that is the this. only thing you need to know. Wait, so you would pretend that you are allergic to bees to justify you screaming like a girl when you saw bees? Do you not have a song that you might associate with like good memories or even a bad memory? Ready? Yes. Welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Picnic zone, picnic zone. Yeah, I, lo I love that. You're entering. <clears throat> this this would kind of scare me. It's a, oh, it's yeah. a threatening vibe for yeah, sure. It's like, do I want to have a picnic here? But also, I would like it if no one else showed up. It looks like it's been through a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you think we would still be having picnics, zombie apocalypse? I don't know. Just a little more dangerous ones, maybe. I mean, I feel like every meal is a picnic in the zombie apocalypse. Like, you're not on a table. You know, you're just kind of eating. You could be at a table. I guess so. Well, you could be at a picnic table. You don't have to be on the ground for a picnic. That's true. As long as you have, I feel like as long as you have the cloth, I, anything's a I picnic I think it's table. just eating outside, actually. Hmm. Oh, no, I feel like you need grass. You can't have a picnic at the in beach. In Antarctica. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you could definitely have a picnic at the beach. Ah. Um, without a doubt, you have a picnic at the well, beach. Well, first of all, picnic a at little, the beach, way worse. A little cloth, cheese. What would you call that? First of all, no, eating no, at the beach good. in general, especially open, open food, cheese, and salad, it's terrible. I'm not saying it's a good idea, but there, you would be forced to call that a picnic. There is no. sand in everything you're eating. Yeah. Again. Everything. Not advocating. Danny wants to have a picnic at the beach. Not advocating for beach picnics. It seems like you're advocating for beach picnics. I'm just saying that. A beach picnic exists. I don't. I just wouldn't call that a picnic. No, I think you're just eating on a very uncomfortable sandy blanket. I and, think that's what it seagulls is. Seagulls are trying to take your food. Yeah, it's actually quite. Actually, a picnic at a beach is a zombie apocalypse. Everyone's trying to grab your ship. There's animals around. There's sand. Picnics are so pleasant, and that is not pleasant. Yeah, you want grass, maybe a couple ants, not a hermit crab. God. I mean, picnics are pleasant in theory. Whenever you eat outside, you're opening yourself up to bees and birds and fucking all kinds of shit <laughs> and <fucking> ants. <laughs> Danny's mind immediately goes to sex. Yeah. The birds, birds and the bees. bees. No, no. I'm saying literal bees. Like, <laughs> no, I, actual I have, bees. I, I have tried, not in a picnic fashion, but like outside dining, I've tried three times in the past week. And every time there has been an infestation of bees. Totally good when you sit down. As soon as somebody drink, brings a drink over, <laughs> fucking Barry Benson comes over. I think that's a, was that a B movie reference? Yeah. And I, you were going. I think it's more like. <coughs> bzz, 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 yeah, yeah, it is, and they're terrifying. You know what though? Eating outside does suck because as soon as you sit down or the food shows up, there's just a fly. There's a fly that won't leave you alone the whole goddamn meal. I hate that. At all the restaurants we eat in outdoor, I've never really had these problems. You never sit on the patio and eat. No, I mean, I totally agree with you, but for some reason, the past three times, there's been a lot of bees. And three strikes, you're out, man. Too many bees. Well, that's good. We and I went to go, that's true. I went to go kill one of them. I went, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to kill this bee. It's only <gasps> one. And and the person I was with was like, bees are extinct, actually. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> not, that's not right. No, no, not extinct. That's bees not are, right. bees endangered. are endangered. And I went, I don't know if that's true. I know that if they, I know that if we kill them, They'll then be we, we die, but I don't think they're endangered. First of all, didn't we create pollinating replica bees yet? Like, is that is bees still a problem? No, bees are bees are a problem. They're definitely, I don't know if they're endangered. Way. Their their numbers are definitely way down, and you wouldn't have. Have you ever seen the image? It's like this is all the food that would not be at the grocery store if bees died, and it's just a Kit Kat. Or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a Kit -Kat. <laughs> yeah, it's like all right. Like bees are bees make so you Oreos. Be able to have that meal. In fact, that bee probably uh, deserves a little bit of that meal. Wait, the, now I'm thinking whoa, about. Well, give them a little piece. I'm not giving a bee my fucking give meal. Give the the means of production to the bees. Yes, or something. Not, not now. I'm thinking about. They keeps everybody says save the bees. Yeah. Yep. Maybe they are endangered. No, I think wait. that's what save. Why? What? Why would you need saving of the bees if they're nothing bad is happening? No, I think bees are endangered. I didn't know that. It doesn't fucking seem like it. Because <laughs> yeah, the past three times you guys, I, one time we, I moved inside. It was it was like literally ten wait, bees. Sing, oh, okay. So no, no, ten like a swarm of bees everywhere. Above, it it, it yeah. was it was it was terrible. Above seven is definitely a swarm. Also, oh, you were gonna kill one, isn't it? The whole thing that if you kill it, it attracts more. 
I think that's wasps. I thought that was wasps as well. Oh. Thank you, Danny. I, I'm upset he's on my side, but I think Are it's you wasps. Sure? No. I'm pretty sure it's wasps. <laughs> not, not even remotely I think they, sure. I'll tell you what. I think wasps are the ones that release a pheromone on you, and if you dive into the water, they'll just wait for you. It's like, we know you got to come up to breathe, bitch. <laughs> they'll just wait. Isn't that fucking weird? <laughs> that is weird. I'm just glad that the one, basically the one animal that stings us that is prevalent is so identifiable. The like it's so one? yellow. No, no, like a bee. Oh. Like imagine if a, like, a, like there were certain species of fly. I know there's horse flies and shit, but like Sand flies, too. horse flies or like flies that can kill you. Every, oh. every, or not kill you, or oh. sting you. Every time you'd see one, you go, ah, ah. That's true. Yeah, but flies are too fast. That, that, that'd be so deadly. Fly, when a fly comes around, I'm like, get out of here. I'm not worried at all. I don't want to buy anything. I'm, yeah, I'm not it. worried. I just go, ha, ha, ha. When a bee comes, I go, freeze. Yeah, but don't, don't you have a fake fear of bees? Uh, it's not fake. I had a fake allergy to justify that fear. <laughs> but it was it's a real fear. Wait, so you would pretend that you are allergic to bees to justify you screaming like a girl when you saw bees? Yes, and it's a great strategy. It For anybody strategy. who is afraid of bees, you just say I'm allergic, and everybody goes, oh, my God, then we, we can't be around any bees. Yeah, I would have two greatly different reactions. Like if I saw someone just screaming like a little girl around a bee, and then once I learn, oh, they might die if they get stung. Now I'm like, okay, the screaming makes sense. And then what happens when you find out it was a fake allergy? Oh, then it's, he's way below the first one, yeah. which was yeah. just being scared of bees. Yeah, you got to keep up that appearance for a long time. No, I would just carry around it an already used EpiPen. That can't be. <laughs> wait, why, if it's already wait. used, what, no, well, because, no, because because I don't need epinephrine. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't. I yeah, don't yeah, need. He doesn't actually need. I don't it. actually need it. But if a bee were to sting me, just to get the cover, just to keep my cover, I'd go clear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to yell clear on anything. I think you do. <laughs> Honestly, he's making the rules If I'm now. injecting myself with anything, I'm yelling clear. That's fair, I think. <laughs> you know what? Vaccine uh, clear. <laughs> have you ever got stung one by one? Yeah. Oh, so you know you're Multiple not allergic. Times, so you know you're not allergic. That's the thing, bro. I, the, a bee was chasing me the other day while I was at the park, and I got a little worried because uh, I've never been stung by one ever. Me so neither. I went, what if this thing stings me, and I never knew I was allergic this whole time, and I just die? That's true. When I When I was saying these lies... I had never been stung by a bee. So <laughs> such a it liar. was it was so 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 it was really no but when I was saying these things, I had never been stung yet. So it's really like Schrodinger's allergy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like yeah. I don't know if I'm allergic or not, but <laughs> I think I am. But I, I, I think have a I feeling. Am. I hate you sometimes. It hurts. Yeah. Really? It, it, it hurts. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta take the stinger out or else it will continue to hurt. Hmm. I don't know about all that. Oh, absolutely. A bee stinger gets left in, and it has the. Venom You're definitely in it. supposed to take it. Did out. you see that couple that harvest bees to get stung by by them? Yes. Because they think it's healing properties. They get stung 15, 20 times a day or something. I've not seen that. I have seen that. You gotta like a. You gotta like pain, right? They definitely are a little into pain. I think that's weird because you're essentially like cultivating and raising animals. To like kill them in pursuit of your weird pseudoscience. I don't think that they completely die every time they get you sting I think they them. Do. Absolutely, they do. Well, then the B movie was a real liar because one of them lost the stingers and he he wound up in the hospital. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like that movie would be kind of be accurate. That's true. Would be accurate. Yeah, I was gonna say you missed it, it by up. this much. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Maybe one in every five bees. Or maybe they can sting. And if the thing doesn't get ripped out, like some some of them are lucky and it doesn't actually get ripped out. I don't. Know. I think that's wasps. I think wasps they don't uh, they don't eject their butt into you after they just take it back with them. Wasps are the ones that look like killers. They look scary. Just just yeah. their form. It looks like a transformer. And even though we associate them, they are actually enemies. They do not like each other. Bees and wasps. Yeah. Wasps, certain types of wasps will try to kill bees. Dude, it's so, it's so, we're so fortunate that none of these insects ever really get above like that big. And even that big's really big. Because imagine if we just lived in a world where there were giant wasps, like as big as people, the same, or the same size as any other big animal, like a tiger or a praying mantis. That thing's a fucking alien. Or a scorpion? That's not a bug. I don't want to. I think we would just have to start wearing like suits, like some kind of like, formal attire, protective suit. Yeah. I I don't <laughs> think you could walk Manhattan and just oh yeah look at that giant wasp flying by. I think we would handle that situation. 
I think there would be wa- like hunting. We would hunt yeah. these things. We would hunt them to extinction. But then you then it'll be like uh, it'll be star uh, what is it starship troopers? Yeah. And you walk upon a nest of them. Yeah. That's <laughs> terrifying. That's so scary. A nest of giant wasps. And they used to all be that big too. I think. I I don't believe that science. <laughs> you don't believe I that? don't believe that science. How did how did it get so small? Unless I see an old one in a in a, what is that called? Amber. In amber, I, mean, I won't believe it. Well, it, according to him, it wouldn't be. Th- it would be in an amber mountain. It'd be in like an and it'd be in an amber like a uh, casket, a big old. And block of amber. If we ever found something like that, I mean, just bro, they they, they said there would be centipedes that are like go from here to that table, just a giant centipede. Uh, See, that doesn't bother me as why much. Why does it How is bother that you? Ever possible? They have pincers. They could. They're they're akin venomous. to scissors. Yeah, but a stinger. I feel like if you get stung by a giant wasp, that thing might go through you. I guess. I mean, it would definitely bother me, but. For some reason, they're just like they've—they've they've always seemed less dangerous. I think it's because I can't fly, and oh. bees and wasps can fly, which makes, which makes like actually combating them very, very difficult. Yeah, you'd just be swinging up like like a centipede. Uh, I'd be fucking terrified, but you're just gonna try to step on it. Like that's right. Yeah, I think more you're riding that thing. I don't think. I don't oh, think oh we're, wait, we're talking about the giant ones. Oh, we're still, still talking about the big ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, he's a psychopath. You wouldn't be scared of one. That's... Oh no, oh, I would be scared, but he would... I would be less scared of that than like a flying bee. He would a big s- bee. suddenly have an allergy to centipedes <laughs> out of nowhere, yeah, and that would be very valid. <laughs> I think it would hunt you and probably feed you to its nest. Oh. I just think that would be easier to kill for some reason. Well, because you can get your grubby little paws on it. Exactly. You just pah, stomp oh, on it. I don't think it'd be that simple. First of all, if it's that big, that shell, I, I think a, a sledgehammer wouldn't get through it probably, right? Oh, I mean, these, these are, this isn't what, what's going on here. <laughs> They're not made of adamantium. Yeah. What, that's a fiction. We're talking about all fictional here, semi. <laughs> I don't know. How many know. spotted lantern flies have you killed this year? Oh Jesus, I, I Only my one. my numbers are real low, but I ha- there are some friends that are. Oh, I got. Six kills today. You know? I had three for like the whole summer, and then recently I got like six in one day because they all were like Bunch. outside of this building. Do you see some videos of them in front of Manhattan buildings? Oh my god, it's they're they're they are pervade. They're like they're a problem. Actually, swarm of it. It looked like a carpet. I think it's so funny that everybody like I see so many videos of like if you see them, kill them. Like it's just very like jolly and like you should kill and exterminate these things these living creatures yeah there really are some things we just don't need yeah is it me or do we not feel like every year or two a new kind of something like this happens oh the, the these termite these giant termites oh, came know. from the ground la- this year and uh, protect the trees I, I feel like every every there's always something going on i don't remember any other invasive species that we were all told to kill on site I heard um, that vegans maybe. <laughs> I heard the real issue here is not that they even exist in the East Coast. It's that they really can't get to California. That's why you're told to kill them because the thing that they ruin the most is like grape vines and trees and it would like totally demolish the Californian wine industry. So we're protecting those pompous California <laughs> pussies. Well, I mean, what do they do dr- for us? Well, we drink Californian wine. Maybe you do. I come. For, I drink. Free, the f- that's where like wine country in America is California. God, so all those middle aged moms are definitely just stomping those flies. It's. It, I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm doing my duty. Okay, that's all I know. I'll start doing it if for every bug I kill confirmed, I get ten cents. Or for every like thirty bugs, you get a bottle of wine. That that's fair because you're killing them. You're killing them to save the thing you're that getting. That seems fair. That means every bug is, you know, it, that could be thirty cents, thirty to thirty to fifty cents. That's too much to kill a bug. That's the thing. Is also how do we stop people from just picking up the carcasses and getting their free wine? <laughs> oh, you're saying if this was a real, real issue? Well, it, they would start collecting them. Carcasses of spotted lantern flies would be coins. They would be coins. Yeah, they'd be the new currency. It'd be the new currency for wine. They're very beautiful. They there is something majestic. Much about more beautiful them. than like a a, a, a a another moth. bug. Yeah, like yeah. a moth or yeah. a beetle. Ew. I don't know why this reminded me of it at all, actually. <coughs> but you know back in the day when 
your CD was scratched or something, uh-huh. and you looked up a video to fix it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was this one time I was in my bed, and I needed to know how to fix one of my CDs. And, I, and it, this was an 11-minute video, and I was watching it this whole time. And at maybe the 10-minute mark, there's just a flash of George Bush in a party hat and a scream. It was a jump scare. Jeez. And I threw my phone. And also, right after that jump scare, it ended with, ha-ha, your disc still scratched, and the video <laughs> ended. <laughs> I was, what is what is wrong with people? It was a highly detailed way to do it for nothing for ten minutes. What, and, what were the steps? I don't. It was that exact same thing happened to me. It was just I don't know. <laughs> George Bush. Wait, do you, no, not the George Bush jump. George scare. Bush oh. didn't jump scare. Wait, but did did you did you, did you know about the story? I I I had a scratched Xbox game disc, and so I looked up one of those videos too, and it gave me an entire list of things to buy. To that would be needed in this video. You went out and like bought them? Like random shit, like toothpaste and like a banana <laughs> and all this shit. And then, and, and, and. Toothpaste, I understand. Once you got the banana, you should have went, this I is I don't fake. know, this fuck, some kind of fucking. Chemical calcium, uh, What is it? Potassium. What, uh, I potassium. Newt, I have newt and. Uh... <laughs> it's like potassium <laughs> banana healing. I don't know. Either way. So I bought all of these things and I was following the video step by step. And then the last step. The guy just takes a hammer and destroys the <laughs> CD and says, "Go buy a new disc, you fucking idiot." <laughs> Wait, was this, was and so this... now I just have a scratch CD with fucking toothpaste and banana all over it. And I'm just a, a broken man. <laughs> don't, don't know what to do. No Halo tonight. No, it was so annoying. Wait, did, was it How to Basic or something? No, no, it was just a fucking idiot. It was just some troll. Right, like you're the it was fuck. just a troll. Oh, yeah, he's the idiot. I should have watched the whole video f- first yeah, before he's... gathering supplies. Skip to the end. When, when you're watching a tutorial on how to fix something, skip to the end first. <laughs> no, but also, in, in a lot of... I don't know, out of nowhere... Sometimes the community on TikTok and Instagram band together to go along with a joke that's yes. in the comments. Yes. And those, out of all times to come together as a society, why do we choose then? Because yeah. there are times where a, a video is a joke video, even though you need instructions, or you're trying to find the name of the movie that was in this clip, and all the comments are, oh, this was the first Avengers. Obviously it wasn't. Yeah, this and is then, the Minions movie. Yeah, and the next comment's like, wow, I didn't, re- I don't remember this part from the first <laughs> Avengers. And I'm like, just someone tell me what's going on. How are 400 people on the same page? You know, it's so yeah. annoying. I think that's one of my favorite parts of like internet interactions is when people just like understand the joke and go with it. Yeah, well, well so it funny. It's, it does suck because sometimes <laughs> you need to know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Just don't, um... Don't follow instructions of people on the internet. True. And also, the the real thing is, if you have a scratch disc, which won't be a problem anymore, really, huh. you can't fix it. You can't, you can't, you yeah. can't yeah. fix it. Yeah. That's can't. step number one. That There's, is the only thing you need to know. Actual data is gone. <laughs> this, this toothpaste and banana won't reconfigure code. I, did, I don't know that. Which, by I, the way, thought, I thought, if anything, maybe it would just like trick it into like playing most of the game, and then sometimes there'd be like a, a wall blip. that wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes yeah. there'd just be a banana a on banana screen. Guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't know, I don't know, but I, I was thoroughly upset. How do you put information onto a CD? Oh, onto oh. this piece of plastic. Right, how does, don't, it, don't how does this doing work? This. Don't start. Doing how this. does this work? Don't start. Beyond me. Uh, I don't. You could put in a CD with songs in it and race it and put other songs on it somehow. I don't. Like I think a. The idea of a record makes so much more sense to me. No, still, even less, maybe. No, that makes <laughs> yeah. so much more sense. You can't wipe a record clean. It's like, all right, this little needle goes against a groove, and each groove is associated with the sound. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. That starts to make sense. It, a CD is like, you've just like spat information onto a mirror. Like, yeah. I don't understand how that works. Where are the grooves? Yeah, where are the grooves? But wait, okay, yes. Saying, yeah, if you put the groove in this way, this is A minor. If you put the groove in this way, this is like a D note. Is that a note? I don't know. It's if, close enough. To, th- to then go, yeah, if, th- if you put this groove on here, this is Frank Sinatra singing <laughs> New York. <laughs> okay. like, what yeah. is uh, happening? Okay. What? There's a man <laughs> in the CD. Okay, okay. I'm not saying I understand it, but I understand it more. You, you don't even need uh, electricity. If you had, like, a needle, it probably wouldn't sound right, but you could use it to... Yeah. 
and just scream into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's how it works. It might be. You, 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 if you, you don't have to scream. You don't have no, to do no, it. No, that's no, how you record no, that's onto how you record it. it. If, oh, you, yeah. if you attach a needle to a, a, tuba, <laughs> a tuba top and you just scream into it, the needle vibrates while the disc is spinning and it, it'll be that. Is that how it works? I'm 28% sure. They also, the, the thing that predated vinyl records was a wax roll. It's like a it's like what a it's like mean? a cylinder of wax and it's a crank. And it's like you know what a gramophone is? It's like the old speaker. It's something my it's grandma like, had. It's like a Grammy. <laughs> oh. It's like a big horn, it looks like kind of. That's what I'm saying. You put, I think. Yeah, you put that little wax cylinder and it has a little handle and you turn it. And as it goes, you know, you hear like da 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 da. Hello, my yeah. honey. Hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably wear out, right? Wax. Yeah, they're they're that that's why they switched to vinyl, because it's not good sound quality whatsoever. Does v- does vinyl eventually wear? It must. <clears throat> they warp. I don't know how fast it does, but it must. If you leave your vinyl next to the radiator, they'll warp and break. Oh, if if you leave if you leave your vinyl stacked like this, it'll warp. Because it bends. You have to you have to leave it. There's like a bunch of vinyl care instructions to actually take care of this outdated. That's so much work. <laughs> That's so much well, work, pe- and people still do it now. So much work. And people still claim. I don't know if it's true or not. It probably is, but that it's better. Oh. They do say that. I think that's a way. I think that's their allergy to good music. That you know, that it's their way to just pretend that what they're doing makes sense. Yeah. I mean, every every song, every new song and thing is on vinyl anyway. So it's like because you could sell it for eighty bucks. And, and it, it does it does make some sense. Like any any song that you stream or listen to on the internet has to be compressed. And therefore, you're losing some kind of some kind of like sound there. I don't know. But that's not. There's lossless compression algorithms. So I don't. I don't even know if that's true. That was a lot of. If you're doing a lot of work. Doing that's, that's, of, that's what Tidal does. If they you charge doing, you extra per month for like high fidelity lossless compression yeah, streaming. They're still around. But, oh, are they? Yeah. I, I was thought, gonna say, I thought the whole they? thing got. I thought Jay Z right? sold it. No, Jay Z put his music on Spotify, which is not a good sign. It, it wasn't the big revolution they thought it was going to be, but I think it still exists. A lot of things still exist. From someone like me, like I don't have the hearing ability to even hear the difference. Like I, my hearing is not good enough to know to be an audiophile and know this. Oh yeah, this sounds so much better than this. I wouldn't be able to tell. The one thing I I know for a fact though is that listening to music live is just an experience that you cannot get from a a speaker. It can't happen. <sighs> I don't agree. I don't agree. Are we agree. gonna do this? It's impossible. We're gonna do this. First of all, a lot of people sound like complete to garbage fire live. I don't even mean that. Even if they're not playing live, I think it's just simply the scale of the equipment. It's like so so like if I'm if I'm in my house and I have a really good speaker, I can like turn it up really loud and like feel and feel the music. But then it starts to get like warped and you hear like whoa, 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 whoa. You know, like you hear it's hard to like listen to if it's too loud. When you're at a festival or a concert, they are playing music very loudly, but like you can hear it very crystal clear. And there are certain frequencies that just like rattle your body, and it's you can feel but it. Aren't aren't most of those people just playing their music through the speakers anyway? They're not actually performing it. I mean, it depends on which person you're watching. Yeah, but a bunch but of yeah. them. I'm saying. Not I right. mean, a bunch of them. But that's what I'm saying. I'm that that's that's part of what I'm saying. Like even if they don't sound good live, it's just being there and. You, listening to it like on that kind of production level even if they're just playing the track it's like these speakers are going to sound better like you can feel the music literally i think you're just a big vibes guy you yeah. you are too it's not hey, a vibes yeah thing. you're a huge vibes guy a, we had this whole argument i'm about- not a vibes guy i could just i'm a good vibe sensor I, I i could feel the vibes vibes are a made up thing i stand by it <gasps> it's not a vibes thing it's a literal feeling like you can feel like like there's a thing that sounds goes, like it's a vibe no, no, no! It's, it's not. A vi- a it's a vibration. It's, 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 it's such a, it's a, it's a, a vibe. literal vibration. It's actually. a vibration right. for sure. Also, if it's that loud and that vibey, then there's no way it sounds good. It's way too loud. It's, no, no, it's, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. No, is no, that, no. It, I know is what that you're it's, saying. It's not that loud. It's just that they can tweak all these things and make it sound really good in a way that I can't do on my little speaker. I don't know. Some some bows. Some what's it, what's what's the little one we have? Fuck. What's the really good waterproof speaker? That'll never be, never be close, <laughs> ever. I, I'm just looking for the company name, know. you I, bitch. I don't it's know. what we have. I, you guys, 
God. But like, know. just give me. Yeah, I literally, I, so I went to a music festival recently, and I, I've, ex- I just recently experienced this, and I'm just so on this wave of like this live music. First of all, this guy plays live with a band, all live music, and it was just, it sounded ridiculous. Like it sounded so incredible, so mind blowing that I was literally crying, like multiple songs crying. Multiple, multiple songs. I was like tears running down my face. Was it because of the words? Um, not necessarily. Like they're definitely like sadder, like more emotional songs than like you know. I don't know. Hello, like, my honey. Yeah, Hello. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like it's it's in a way to sneak that in twice. <laughs> it's, it's it's those it's are my so rules for the day. I need it a third time. Like it's not like I was going to like I don't know like a Drake concert or something, and it's like. Oh, this one, like, really, the words really get to me. It's not that. It's just, like, all of the sound and all of the music and this, like, like the vibrations of it all, it just made, it made, me, it made me cry in a good way. I wasn't even sad crying. I was just crying of happiness. Multiple songs. There's just, there's so many. So much, so much so. There was one song that is particularly sad that I cried on, so much so that my contact fell out in the middle of the festival. I, first of all, Nightmare situation. <coughs> that's rough. That uh, that's rough. Because I was drunk, very drunk, and I and, and my contact is out, and now I can't see. Like you have like this very weird distorted vision, and I had to like have somebody hold up my reflective sunglasses to my face and like put in my contact oh, during this. It was so difficult that when I cheered, I, I when I when I was done, I like cheered. I was like, yes, I did it. I finally put it in. I can so, oh. You had to MacGyver it. That was the I second time Danny it. cheered like that. But yeah, and then I cried some more. It was a cry fest, and it, I wasn't <laughs> I the need o- to stop hearing about yeah, your please. crying. And, and, and I wasn't the only one. Every, a lot of people around me, a lot of people. Oh, man. I'm telling you, there are certain artists that they just have a, it's like a, it's a different experience. You know what my mom used to say? What's that? If you can't say something nice. <laughs> That's how I felt this whole entire time. Don't, say, say, say don't, something. Don't, don't I don't say know. anything at all. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's a culmination of a lot of things. If I didn't know who this person was, I would also probably think it was weird to cry at music like this. But then again, like, do you not have a song that you might associate with, like, good memories or even a bad memory? And it, like, this song helps you through whatever this, whatever stuff. And then... You hear it live at such a grand scale, like it just it, it can happen in a second. It just all of a sudden, boom. You just described a completely different scenario than what you were just talking about. That's I mean, it was a combination of all of these things. Danny cries. Has it, anyone ever cried at a live music event? Oh my Put god, that's not the question. Why is that not the question? Because, because that's, it's not the question. Yeah, that's, that's not the question. That's not the question. You're you're you are you seem to be holding in your mean things because of the crying. I don't understand. But no, you, it wasn't you, about... You could cry at, no. a, a, at Firefly for like many, many, many different reasons. Yeah, there, there are... there are. Yeah. Well, first of all, there are meaningful songs and musicians. You said that you went to this band and because of the way the, the music sound... Like, not even the words, you cried. Well, it wasn't the words, but it, it, I, I, I said it was a combination of multiple things. One of them was the grandiose nature of the sound. It was really one of the best concerts I've ever heard sound production wise. Th- that part. That, that part. That that just heightens everything. It's like it's 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 like somebody was like, you know, your your senses, they just pff, turn the knob up. Everything is just like, oof, so much more. And then on top of that, these are songs that like I like and have, you know, I don't know, have like sentimental meaning to me in a way. And all Should have that, led with the sentimental all of, meaning. All of that combined together was just was just a lot. And again, I wasn't even crying like sadness. I was like crying and laughing. Like that's how good it was. You did skip the whole. Uh, you skipped the whole. Oh, this. <coughs> like for the first three minutes of telling the story, you skipped the whole. This song has attached to memories, good ones, yeah. bad ones. Well, yeah. I, I, feel, I actually feel like it wasn't true. <laughs> And then he went, oh, how do I get them to say yes that I was crying? <laughs> no, Oh, no, you no. throw in sentimental. At the very end. Sentimental. When it was the most important part of the story. We know it's made up now. We no, know. it's not made up. No, I'm talking about the sentimental part. We know again, you cried. We it, know you cried. Again, it's sentimental part. It's not made up. Or else I wouldn't have gone to fucking four hours to go see this person. Like, why would I go if I didn't care about the songs? But I... Oh. Why would I go? 
Why would I go? You go to things. Why would I go for four four hours, travel to this fucking island in the middle of nowhere? I don't know where you are. But, yeah, great stuff. Can we go back to vinyl for a second? Yes. <laughs> are there podcasts on vinyl? And if not, would be the first one? No. There definitely is. You think so? Somebody's can you put, impressed. you can put just not music on there? Is that allowed? You can put anything you want on vinyl. You can put anything you can want. we put a rap horn siren a, a rap air horn on there. Yes. Bah, 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 bah. You, put, you can record. There, there are like websites that will. You can record something, and then it will send a little vinyl postcard, which is just like a card that has grooves in it, and you put it on your record player, and it's like a little minute and a half wow. thing. Wait, could we be the first what? podcast that releases weekly on vinyl? On vinyl, yeah. You get a you get a weekly yeah a weekly vinyl. The thing is, it would be a very large vinyl. Like 30 minutes is like one, one entire side no, of a big vinyl. Maybe a 15 minute one. You say a, a card, a post it yeah, card? Yeah, yeah. I was looking at, for some reason, when I used to work in like the event industry, some, some woman who was hosting their wedding was like showing me their wedding invitations. And it was a vinyl postcard that like has a smaller vinyl in it. I don't, I forgot what it's called, like an 84. A it's like a Vinny. tiny, it's a tiny vinyl. And literally the card, you can put it on your record player, and it's like an, an, a song and like a little like, please come to our wedding. It was really cool. Not putting it on a vinyl. I, it actually I might, it might make me not come. I mean, the thing is, you, you're assuming that your friends have record players, which is kind of a big assumption. Well. <laughs> Depends on who you hang out with. I, 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 I know. If, if, they're sending, if they're sending all that, it's a certain kind of friend group. Yeah, sure. I, know, I know who of my friends has record players yeah. and who doesn't. Yeah, yeah, we know. <coughs> so what's, going, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Maybe, you got, maybe I have a cough. I don't know. I'm gonna get, stop coughing at it. What are you, uh, who, who, who of our friends would you say? Jason. Jason, Jason. Looks, uh, looks like a secret. He's uh, Hey, Jason. Looks like a secret vinyl player. Hmm. I feel like Jason... Jason definitely gives vinyl vibes for sure. I would say so, but I feel like Jason would have said that Oh, I have this thing on record. Jason has tons of things on record. I, really? I, I don't know if he even has the player, though. He for sure has tons <laughs> of vinyls. So it's confirmed he's a vinyl guy. I don't well, know if he has the player, Can you though. be called a vinyl guy if you can't even play it? At that point, they're just really expensive Frisbees. album posters. Oh, I think it's Jason, like Frisbees. that might be what it is. Jason, is he, is he editing Yeah, this? he's here. Put some text on the screen. Do you have it? Yeah, answer the question. <laughs> answer the question, Jason. I have a record player. Oh, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't worry about it. Don't I, worry about I it. I know who has them and who doesn't, and no one has told me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't, you don't have to hide it. We know. But I don't take care of my vinyl at all, so it's probably all warped and sounds shitty. Are they stacked? Yeah. Oh, my God. This okay. fucking guy. Worse, I'm trying not to. But. W- worse than being a vinyl collector is being a neglectful <laughs> vinyl collector. They are fun to just display, though. It's like a little poster. My sister definitely has, too. Big hippy dippy lady. <laughs> <laughs> I just know. I don't disagree. I haven't met her, but you guys are so judgmental. No, I would know. So judgmental. First, judgmental. Of all, first, of all, first, you're judging me for crying <laughs> based on the music. I just like the music. Okay. You, you I, yeah, whatever. Also, is it judging? And you're judging my vinyl collection. Is it judging when it's true? Is it judging? Yeah, I'm yes. just. I'm making accurate. Yeah. Est- educated guesses. It's like me, if, if we're having a conversation with a friend and they go, oh yeah, this vinyl, 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 and we go, oh, Danny has a vinyl player. And I let's say I never knew that he did. But I'm like, Danny's a vinyl guy and I never knew it. But I'm right. I feel like that's... It's the undertones for me. <laughs> it's the undertones. It's of, your hat for of, me of, that tells me <laughs> you have a vinyl. <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's the undertones of what you're saying that seem to be uh, a little bit uh, pompous, look down upon. Wear pompous. I yeah, I think, so. I think, I think, I, so. I think, really the the. Wear pompous. Yeah, I think you're picking it up. I believe so. You're getting the wrong vibe here because our our you know assumption based off someone who uses vinyl and is big into vinyl is that they are pompous about music. Yeah, which is they they have pom poms. My 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 assumption would be that somebody who hears a man. Pour his heart out about great music <laughs> oh and uh, and the scale of production and sound quality, and then says, "My waterproof speaker's really good." I think that guy is is no no no, no 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 the pop, but the it's pompous one in that situation is the one who cries to the music. No, I think the pompous and, I think the pompous one is is the one who thinks. 
that there is no difference and that his little tiny speaker is better. That's not what Pompous means. I was looking for the name brand. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that speaker. And yeah, of course, I don't think you know the definition of Pompous. I could see both people being pompous, but in this situation, <laughs> in this situation, you were being pompous because you were saying that your little waterproof no, speaker is asking... better than a than a multi thousand dollar festival production company. First of all, it's not. First of all, I wasn't even saying that. You are, but now if you're making me dive into this pot of boiling water for the price of what it does, way better, way better. I can not save true. that. I could save that hundred million dollar production with thirty five dollars. Feel the same thing. You can't. I cry to that speed. You can't feel the same thing. Um. Either way, JT, tell me where to find you. Find me on Instagram at the J Balls. You can find me. At Danny is watching on Instagram. You can find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow the Picky Boys on Instagram. Ooh. The Picky Boys on Twitch, and uh, go follow our gaming channel, Picky Boys Gaming.